Red, and I'm coming at you with my sheet of the day for today. It's August 12th, 2017. Okay, so just to get started here, I wanted to go through some of the equipment that we'll be using for the shave today. Uh, first, I did get something in the mail recently, actually, uh, today. I was uh, on Reddit the other day on the Shave Bazaar, and I came across the post from a user named Merely Mo that was selling a few items, and uh, I was going after one in one item in particular the other day at eBay, but uh, I got outbid for it. So I was a little disappointed, but I came across this and I thought it was a real good thing. There was a lot of three. There was a Super Speed Flare Tip, a Gem Micromatic Clog Proof, and a Gillette Old Type. And I'm going to be using the Gillette Old Type today. This is actually what was going on after on, on eBay, but I ended up getting this. So looking forward to this uh, quite a bit. I, and this is kind of where it all started for the most part, you know, uh, 1903, I believe, Gillette brought this uh, brought this out. And, or the, I'm not sure if that's when the razor came out or if that's when they put out their disposable razor blades, something, some, one, something along that line. But that's what it looks like here. It's actually in very good shape, you'll see. I was looking, I don't see any cracks in the handle or on the ball end, like you have seen. And, uh... The head's in very good shape. And uh, the serial code is underneath this top, underneath the head here. It starts with the P, so it's 1921. So, and uh, the blade I have in here, this is a Derby Extra. I took it off of a, took it out of the razor that I used the other day, that Utopia Care, put it in here. It's supposed to be a little bit more mild shaver, so. And I believe these are supposed to be a little more aggressive since these types of razors took in those, uh, thicker double-edged blades back in the day. So we'll see how it goes. So that's it, the Gillette Old Type, the ball end. Okay, and then uh, next piece of hardware, I have my brush. This is my Sterling Little Brother brush. It's a synthetic knot in there, 22 millimeter knot. And this is a real nice uh, little brush here, very soft, it's good backbone, just over 10 bucks. Definitely would recommend it. Okay, and then uh, the soap I'm gonna be using for today I figured I'd go back to this. I haven't used it in a while here. So my Razor Rock Triple X. This is a real great soap. It's very you know inexpensive, like ten dollars on ItalianBarber.com. Has a real nice scent on here. The uh, their take on uh, Aqua de Parma, the Colonia scent, and just excellent. I would recommend this highly if you're thinking about getting it or just getting started. Real good soap to go with there. Okay, then move on to the aftershave we'll be using. Again, I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to go with the Panad Clubman. Good little uh, aftershave here. You get quite a bit, and I think it's only... I got this at the, at the local CVS for like 7 or 8 bucks, so not very expensive either. There's a bunch in there. So, we have that. And then the balm bong, bong I'll be using is my Nivea Men Cream. Another inexpensive option. Very cheap, only a few bucks. Okay, so that's uh, that. Okay, so that's the... Uh, equipment we'll be using for the shave, so we'll come back, we'll go ahead and get the shave started. Okay, so we're back and ready to go ahead and get this shave started. So what we're going to be doing here, I whipped up a little lather of this bowl here. So I'm going to whip the face, bring this to the face, build up the lather a little bit more, and we'll go, we'll go ahead and we'll do a three-pass shave. We're going to be doing probably one with the grain and a couple going across the grain, going so like that, then like that. Okay, and then from there, we'll finish up the shave. Maybe we'll extract some soap out and uh, do a couple of pickups if we need it. And then from there, we can move on to the post shave. So that's the plan. So let's go ahead and rock this shave out.
Okay, so we just uh, finished the shave there, and I thought everything went pretty well. Uh, it's definitely an efficient razor. Uh, you can really feel the blade um, cut, you know, on your skin there when you're shaving. But <clears throat> I thought it went okay. Uh, maybe the derby doesn't work that great. There. It was okay, but it wasn't as smooth as when I used it uh, my last shave. So we'll see. Maybe a fresh run, but. But other than that, though, it went pretty well. You know, I did go against the grain of my neck here. I usually don't do that, but I thought since that's a little more aggressive, I'll go with it. Like when I use the Q-Shave, I put it up to six, and I'll go in the neck against the grain of the neck here, like right here and here. And it didn't do too, too bad. But other than that, though, I feel I'm pretty good all around. But maybe what I'll do now, I'll go ahead and extract the rest of this soap out of the brush. Then I'll uh, apply some of my face, feel around, see if I need to do any pickups. And I gotta say too, the Triple X performed very well. It had good enough residual slickness. I feel like this, the razor, like just killed everything that was on my skin. So, <laughs> but other than that, it did feel pretty good. And uh, let's see, I don't know my neck. Don't really feel feels pretty good. I need to just go over like these parts one more time, but. Maybe just around my chin and the corners of my neck. Nothing crazy, but. Feels okay. Then again, we'll just try this one more time. And that should do it, I think. Everything's feeling pretty good. As best as I'm gonna do there, because it's just a weird spot in my neck. Okay, so that takes care of the pickups. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the post shave. So what I'm gonna do here, I have my Allen block on this, you know, stick Allen block. I'll let my face just a little bit. Back here, but nothing too bad. Yeah, like those bad spots is like where I really feel. But overall, feels pretty good. Screw that back on. Just wipe off my face again. Gotta say too, when you put on the elm, like get more grip on your <laughs> your face. Like the last time I did it, I thought it was like, oh wow, my face is so smooth. It's like you know, but I was putting on the balm. Like I'm putting on balm because it was like, oh, I'm so dry. But no, it's just the alum. <laughs> but okay, yeah, so feeling pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the post shave. And like I said, we're gonna be using the Panada Clubman. I just love this club and it's just a, such a nice clean smell like powder I just feel clean when I put it on that's wonderful just a nice scent it's kind of an old-school kind of scent but it's a uh, it's nice mm. 
very barber shoppy kind of when I think of it. You know, this is kind of the smell I think of when I used to get my hair cut. The barber, not so much anymore, but. Okay, so there's that, and then we'll go ahead and put on some balm. So again, we have my Nivea Men cream here. So I'll just do a little finger load there. Just rub that in my hands. So everything's feeling real nice there. Like I said, it is a real close shave. It's, uh, I don't know if it's BBS. I don't know if I'll ever get BBS. But it's a, a DFS. I just say I won't probably get a BBS because I don't like to go against the grain. <laughs> I'd rather not get cut or, you know, or get irritation. But yeah, so not a bad shave at all. So uh, excellent. Okay, so that does conclude the shave of the day for today. So I did uh, want to say thank you for watching the video. Uh, you know, I definitely do appreciate that. And if you uh, do check out my other videos, thank you for that as well. And if you would, uh, you can please uh, comment, like, comment, and subscribe below. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have some great shaves.